fellas on the side say And all my fellas on the side say Never gonna fly high to the skies Cause we're gonna have the place of the good guy Let me go, hit the go, hit the go up We're gonna rock this butt to the close up Yeah, we're gonna live a good life Yeah, we're gonna do it all night Hey everybody. Welcome to Happy Hour Live. It is Thursday. It's that time again. It is 3 p.m. Eastern time. We do this every single Thursday at the same time, same place. And this week is no different. So I'm Ashley. I'm the founder here at Cloth and Paper. And it is Happy Hour Live. So I already see the, the black hearts coming in. Very excited to have you guys back for another week. And if this is your very first happy hour live, can you leave us a white heart in the comments? We would love to welcome you for your first happy hour live and um, just say, hey. So I see some usual suspects here. I see uh, caffeinated motherhood, Nikki Tippett. Nikki, you have been coming through lots of good ideas, lots of uh, good suggestions. So thank you for coming here again for another happy hour live. Rhonda Wise, tried and true. She's been here before. Thank you for coming back again. Andrea B, she's been here before, and Lakita and Rio, Sandy, Paula, Life with Tanisha. Hey, she's from um, coming in from Birmingham. Love it. Um, and we have a newbie. We have Maureen. Shout out to Maureen. Let's all welcome Maureen to Happy Hour Live. Welcome to Happy Hour Live. This is your very first one. Thank you for coming. Uh, Tiffany has been here. Um, today is going to be. Um, Pretty chill. Yeah. Pretty chill. Pretty chill. We love a pretty chill moment because next week is going to be crazy. Yes. Because we'll be in Texas doing happy hour live, myself and Aisha. Last time us two got together, it was lemon drops and madness. And I expect much of the same in uh, in Dallas next week. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun. We have the team coming. We have a booth for happy hour. So it's going to be legit. Um, also, we have um, a booth where we'll be giving away some swag, like some stickers and some enamel pens. So if you see our booth or you want to visit us at our booth at ha um, I Go Wild, please do. I'll be happy to give you guys a free sticker or a enamel pen from us. And you'll get to meet the team, which will be cool as well. So 
Hey, Carissa, Carissa joined the chat and Lacey. Hello, those are two of our affiliates there. Okay. Ryan made a great point. Is next week we're trying to we're trying to align our schedule with with Go Wild and so that we're not brushing against some of the schedules that they have implemented for that weekend. So we originally thought we could do the happy hour at one time, but it looks like we might have to move it. So as of right now, happy hour live is tentative. We'll let you know what the time will be next week. Um, but we'll definitely let you know before Thursday so that you can come. But it should be extra litty. I know. Okay. Extra, because I will definitely have a cocktail that day. Oh. So it might be super spicy. So, <laughs> so let's 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 break the ice a little bit with a couple of of questions from our date game. This is featured in our April a seat box that is in the process of getting out now. So this will be featured in our April a seat box. Um, April box is all about relationship building the, the theme is date night but it's all more so about relationship building we have this date night game in there we have a new candle uh sent the name of sevilla um this is um inspired from a trip that i took last year from spain and so a lot of the candle well all the candles that we make are all inspired by trips and travel and so they're not just i'm not just reaching from the sky with some of these scents and some of these concepts it's actually places that i've been to and inspiration that have led to some of the scents that you're getting into the box so you have a new scent in the april estate box also in our new packaging for candles as well so you have a very rigid box that is now protecting your candle which makes it great for gift giving. I know a lot of you will get the AC box and kind of parse out the various components of the box and give ver the components away as gifts, or you can keep it all to yourself. But um, we do kind of make sure that they're all kind of in, in a position to give as a gift or just keep for yourself. So you have new boxes now protecting your candles. And while we're on the subject of candles, we have a gift with purchase today. Yeah. We have a pretty major gift with purchase. So um, Mama Basilica has a baby basilica. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have a travel basilica candle. Can we put it on here on the baby camera? Baby camera for baby candle. Baby camera for baby candle. So the Mama candle now has a baby basilica candle. This is this week's gift with purchase. This is until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. Am I correct, Katie? Katie will fact check me on this. Um, but this is a gift with purchase for any purchase of $150 or more. So if you get the April SD box, you will automatically get the Travel Basilica candle. So that is an easy win-win. Um, so if you love Basilica, you'll be able to get this little baby candle. So this is the size of your standard candle right here. And here's the Travel candle. You can see the embossing on the boxes. Yes. So can you can you see the embossing there? Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Lots of good stuff going on. So let's do a couple questions from the audience while I get a couple questions for our team over here on this side. Yes. Go Wild is a planner like convention. Right, all focused towards people that love paper planning. Um, I think this is so. Go Wild was actually the very first planner convention. Um, so it's pretty big. It's a, it's usually around twenty five hundred to three thousand people that attend. Um, have all the biggest sponsors from from stationery that come there and sponsor this event. We are sponsoring the um, happy hour at this. So there's two um, energy breaks that they call them that we're sponsoring um, during the event that we're rebranding as happy hour. Cause you know, we, we do happy hour here. Um, so you'll, we'll, we're taking care of some of the food and all some of the snacks and drinks that are happening during go wild. Um, but then you also get to attend workshops and different live events during the event that all center around planning, well-being, and things of that nature. And it kind of bounces around from city to city. This year it's in Dallas. In previous years, it's been in LA. It's been in um, Louisiana, New Orleans to be exact. And it's kind of been all over the place. So you can expect it, expect it to move around from city to city as the years continue. Um, but yeah, it's just just a place where like-minded people can get together and um, center around one thing that we all love, which is it's planning. Mm 
What else? Someone said, I already ordered the April Estee box. Am I going? No, you're not. Daniel. Uh, so the gift with purchase started today, right? It so started just now. Yeah, so the it started today at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and it runs into um, Sunday again at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're not pay placing an order today that qualifies for this gift with purchase, your order will not get it, get this free gift. So um, hope that clears that up. All right, let's get to a couple questions. Let's see. Again, this is the date night game that is featured in our April date night seat box. Um, I love this game. This is pretty fun. All right. So this or that skydiving or bungee jumping. How about neither? Really? Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're strapped. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My mind instantly goes, worst case scenario, what is worse? Because, like, if the bungee jump... Aisha says neither as well. <laughs> Everybody's <But> neither. <laughs> you suffer less if the bungee jump fails. I'm suffering because I'm... I'm well, you're suffering regardless. I'm panicking. Yeah. I think I would bungee jump. Because if something happened, then I wouldn't even know because it would be over so fast. Oh, my. That's so sad. So... <laughs> If we're thinking like that, we shouldn't do either. Do <laughs> RL, what are you doing? <laughs> really? Okay, okay. So, Becca, what are you doing? You said bungee. Ryan? I'm trapped alone. But you trapped the character. Everyone saying either. Everyone, it's it's except for uh, a Tanya said skydiving. I'm because I'm falling on purpose. I like that. that is a good. I'm going neither. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, this or that. Scary movie or romantic movie? Scary movie. Depends on the day. No, scary movie. It depends Always. on the day. Scary movies these days aren't really scary. I think movies haven't been scary since like Pet Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we gotta get you on like A24. No, those are scary. not scary either. Yes, no. No, it was laughable. What? No. See, the problem with me is that I can just predict everything all the time, which is not fun. So you need like a jump scare. I do. Movie, but that's cheap. Yeah, I know. We'll find you something. Ryan, what do you say? I know Ryan. He hates scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan says neither. There, Lakita is saying romantic. Rhonda is saying romantic. Aisha is saying romantic. Lots of romantic. It depends. Um, I think Saw has exhausted their opportunities. Yeah. They're on number like fifty-eight at it's this point. Same for Scream. <laughs> same for Scream. Scream <laughs> it's just a comedy at this <laughs> point. I watched Saw for the first time a couple months like ago. Like the first ones are okay. But like it's still so predictable. Yeah. Except for the second one. There was a scene in the second one that tied back to the first and I was like, yeah. And then it'll never happen again. It's like okay. It's all pretty ridiculous. Um this is relevant to us for next week. Window or aisle seat. Window. Same. Window. I need to see what's going on at all times. Rebecca. Window. Ryan? I get more space. I like, I like the window. Okay, cool. Um, beaches or mountains? Beach. beach. Mountain. Really? <laughs> Ryan, beach or mountain? Uh, I'm, both. Oh, I'm going beach all the time. Water is just like my energy source. Someone said, I need to be close to the bathroom. I will try to hold it <laughs> until the very end yeah, instead of using down. the bathroom on the plane. Yeah, no. <laughs> I sit down and not getting back up. <laughs> I see mountains. I see beach. Kathy says beach. Lots of beach. All right. Let's get something. Happy birthday, Christina. Happy birthday. Thank you for joining us for your birthday. Um, Where is the craziest place you've ever fallen asleep? At the mall. At the mall. <laughs> 
I think that is wild, actually. How does one fall asleep at the mall? We were doing some like youth group thing and I got bored, so I sat down. You know how like the mall will have like those sections of like couches for like people to wait for like their family to finish shopping or whatever? Really? And I sat down and they took pictures of me. <laughs> I needed the slideshow up. I'm I'm too alert on my surroundings to fall asleep anywhere public. <laughs> Becca, what about you? I that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, wow, you have a talent, a skill. Wow. A um, you can fall asleep anywhere at any time. It says, "Where's the craziest place you've ever fallen asleep?" Ryan can fall asleep standing up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, with me in the car in the passenger side when we were. <laughs> When we were in Orlando and we ran into the media, oh <laughs> he was very tired, <laughs> driving all day. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. All right, what about what was the craziest thing you did during your teenage rebellious phase? <laughs> Are we like legally allowed to make it legal? <laughs> We don't want to know your your deepest darkest sins. I'm like boring. I know. I'm not. I wasn't a crazy teen. Yeah, I was. Ryan was quite the rule follower as well. Yeah. No. I mean, we have we have our dark days, but nothing that we want to air on Happy Hour Live. Someone said I plead the fifth on that one. Didn't ask my parents' permission to go online. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess the craziest thing would be like just staying up past your curfew and sneaking in and out. That's great. That's the craziest my thing. Has plenty of stories, but she's yeah, here, so. definitely. Like, my curfew was like at 11, and I would like find a way to sneak out and like come in at three. That's the craziest thing I've done. Yeah, I mean, if you can't hear me, you can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could legalize one thing right now, what would it be? Weed. <laughs> I mean, no harm, no foul. See, Rio said weed, and look, trees are coming in. Micah says yes. <laughs> Someone said 420. It doesn't hurt anyone, right? And it's a very big health benefit I mean, for a lot. It's just silly to me that, like, it's legal, like, on a state level, but right, not literally. Right, right. Make it make sense. Well, because taxes, right? Well, they got to get their, their funds, they right, guys? Money. They got to get that sh money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're on a, we're on a level today, guys. <laughs> Professional, lots of trees, lots of 420, lots of common sense. <laughs> uh, I, I agree. Someone said, I actually had this exact thought when I was at lunch. I was like, How are people smoking? Sorry, like my bad to anybody that still smokes cigarettes. But I'm like, How are people smoking cigarettes in 2024? It's expensive, too. I know, and it's very expensive. The tax rate on cigarettes are bananas. Maybe it's because they don't like it. <laughs> Like, how in 2024 are we doing this? <laughs> I mean, not till legal, but, like, can we be, be made aware that, you guys, it's kind of crazy. 2024, there's other things to partake in. Um, what else? <laughs> if you had a single day to spend a million dollars, how would you spend it? <laughs> Arel, are you texting about how bananas <laughs> They're on one today. <laughs> RL, like, are you hearing this? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay. Become a property owner. Yeah. And then whatever's left over, I would just like go bananas. Like I'd go out and like buy some art supplies, probably, or like buy a computer. Nice. Okay. Okay. Back up. I would plan an entire trip Same. across Europe. Like Same. go ahead and buy all those plane tickets, train, train tickets, tickets, everything. Airbnbs. Oh, with Becca. Hotels. Yep. Pearl. Uh, 
idea. <laughs> you got five minutes to decide how you're spending it. You have five minutes. Yeah. Like right. Okay. I don't even know if I want this. Fair. Buy a house. Buy a house. You know, Don't let them pressure you into that. Yeah, yeah. You want you want some flexibility. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can take pictures of all the trips that you'll take with the million dollars. Invest in something. <laughs> right? Thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember the show Supermarket Suite? Or am I telling my like you gotta grocery shop in like what is it 60 seconds? Like you gotta be able to gotta figure it out. Yeah. Ryan, what are you doing? Million dollars, five minutes to decide what you're doing. Someone said Kathy said crypto. Atanya said investments. Someone said paying off my existing mortgages for family. Someone said I would buy some properties. I'm just immediately booking a flight. Yeah. That's the first somewhere. thing I'm doing. Yeah. Like right now, if I found out right now, I am booking a flight and I'm going somewhere today. 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 Right, guy? Me and Becca are splitting that trip. All right. We're all going on a trip. <laughs> That's what I did. I would I would buy us all a trip. Um, what about what purchase of a hundred dollars or less has most pro positively impacted your life? That's a good one. Uh, the, like, yeah. yeah. That like, oh, like stepper. Oh, those are good. I get so you get some steps in. Use. Are you doing it every day? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Minutes. Fantastic. Yeah. How many steps can you do in 15 minutes? Depends on how fast I go. Okay. Like a couple, couple hundred because that thing's like a workout. That's awesome. But yeah, I used to go on my girl walk and then I broke my foot and then I got lazy. Fantastic. No, that's good. What about you, Vega? $100 or less. <laughs> What's yours? For me, my cat. Oh, that's so perfect. An SBCA cat costs about $25. Sometimes you can get them for, <laughs> sometimes you can get them for free. <laughs> that is our best $100 investment, both of our cats. What about you, Rye? The cat? Someone said a bike. A lot of people say the planner. So, Tanya, the question was, what purchase of $100 or less has most positively impacted your life in recent memory? Someone said planner. Lakita said planner. Nikki said planner. Amara said planner. Mine's my Kindle. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Someone said their first cloth and paper stationery box. Respect. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. All right, one more. Let's make it good. Let's make it good. Oh, this is maybe polarizing. What's the worst holiday? Oh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay, or, fair, fair. I think anything that has a <laughs> There's so... No, I guess it is Thanksgiving. I like, <laughs> I like the food. But like, I if, don't like the food. If you're, not, yeah, like if you're not invested in like the drama aspect, yeah. like, either as a participant or as a... <laughs> like, do you guys do the same food for Thanksgiving that you do for Christmas? Yeah. That's why it's annoying. We swap the meat though. Like, we'll yeah, you'll do like ham or yeah. turkey or chicken or something like that. I agree. It's kind of overrated. Right, guy? Worst. Holiday. Worst. I know yours. New Year's. Oh, because okay. he has to stay up. <laughs> and he's an eight o'clock sleeper. <laughs> you could go to bed and wake up. At that doesn't work, Katie. <laughs> you would think that. <laughs> Someone said they love Halloween, New Year's Eve. Someone else is with you, right? Halloween, Labor Day. I guess you don't really do that much on Labor Day. Um, oh, someone said they had food poisoning for, for the past two years at Thanksgiving. No, thank you. Who? Wow. <laughs> someone needs to get an exchange from cooking duty. <laughs> someone said almost every U.S. holiday. Um, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. That's a, definitely a marketing marketing day for sure. Um, I do enjoy Christmas. It's fun because it's usually when everyone gets together. I'm not in the holidays for the food part. I feel like it's, it's a bonus. <laughs> it's just a bonus. It is you a bonus. Only like, if you're at the right person's house. Yeah, because like what if like your family sucks at cooking? Then it's just, it's over. It's over before it starts. <laughs> 
Ooh, does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> Would I do it? No. Should it be illegal? Also, no. Yeah. <laughs> Does pineapple belong on pizza? It's not for me. I'm just so basic when it comes to pizza. I either like cheese or pepperoni. That's all you Yeah. Mean. Yeah. <laughs> or I like a margarita. That's it. That's as crazy as it gets. All right. There's a lot of yeses. Yeah, there is a lot of yeses. Oh, they said no. They said no. We had to add that to the no. <laughs> So many no's. Who said yes? Melissa said yes. Somebody said yes, but uh, oh, pineapple and jalapeno. That's a good balance. It has. It can't just be pineapple. That's I agree. That's my gripe with it. If you just put pineapple on. That's almost. Well, that's that's scary. Scary. Just, it's usually like sweet ham and pineapple. Yeah, that's true. True. All right, last one. Last one, and we'll move on. Um, if you could have dinner with one famous person, dead or alive. I've never liked this question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. What's your answer? <laughs> <laughs> RL's still on the weed question with her. I don't know any celebrity. Like, I have just someone one polarizing. Oh. Well, just because I think it'd be entertaining and like, who knows what we're going to get out of the conversation. <laughs> Elon Musk. Oh, that yeah. No, we that is yeah, it is. Yeah. I think it'd be wild. I think it'd be fun. I just want to like pick at his brain. I want to know yeah. why. I just want to know where like where his head's at. What's happening? Yeah, <laughs> I think that might take quite a long time to figure out where it's going. Yeah. Katie, you don't have any. Ryan. I like that too. Yeah. I like don't remember anything. Really? Anything. On the fun side, um. Andrew Schultz. You know Andrew Schultz, comedian? No? Maybe, maybe. Does anybody know? So Aisha said Beyonce. Meg the Stuffy. Meg, oh God. <laughs> Meg the Stuffy. Yeah. That's what she was saying all the time. <laughs> Someone said Beyonce. Someone said Jesus. Someone said Anthony. Oh, Anthony Bourdain. That's a great one. That's a great one. That's a really good one. That's a good one too. Oh wow. That's a good one. Very good. Still nothing around. I'll pop on the like Anthony Bourdain train. That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. He was fun, but also like cultured. So you know you're gonna get a great meal out of the situation too. So someone said Lenny Kravitz, Maxwell, Marilyn Monroe. Did you say did you know Lenny Kravitz this week? What did he do? Oh, did Lenny Kravitz was in a video this week. Yeah, That's what we're talking about. Working out in leather pants, six years old, doing crazy workout stuff. That seems very Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. yeah. All right, last one. This is these are too good. Um, what's your go-to takeout order for a Friday night? Pizza or Chinese food? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Chinese food or Thai? Yes. Mm. Thai or Thai or Indian? For myself? Yeah. Yes. Love that. Do you have a go to Indian place here? Um, we like Tulsi. No. So Tulsi. good. <laughs> What's your spice level? Not much. <laughs> a little bit up there. But yeah. Like, I like, you know, hot, but not, not like, like Indian hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I, I like need my taste same. Like I want to taste what's going on, and then um, I love like ha having a mango lassi with the meal. Delicious, so good, so good. There's also a, a place near us that has like a buffet, and buffets are usually like low, like quality. But this place, top notch. What's the name of the Indian spot near us? I'm sorry. I'm just trying, there's Richmonders in the comments here. Um, someone said veggie lo mein. Someone Melissa's playing with us. She's a pineapple pizza with pineapples. <laughs> Anything Asian inspired. Someone said pepperoni pizza with hot honey. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, someone said pizza and wine. Pizza, pizza. Oh, Aisha, good one. Lemon pepper wings. Wooden iron has really good lemon pepper wings. If you're in Richmond, <laughs> wooden iron has great. Thanks. All right. 
think that's all the questions. We still have tons more questions. We're actually going to bring these to the Estate event in May. That's like a little icebreaker for you guys to get to know each other there to just help with conversation a little bit. I know a lot of us are introverts and these really just help to break the ice and have a little bit of fun. Um, but yeah, that is, that's what we got there. What else do we have, Katie? What else should, should we chat about? We got some pens. Oh, so it has come to my attention on this fine day that there may be some confusion regarding the, um, composition of said intention box. So I, I, maybe a lot of you haven't received the um, communication or have been watching Happy Hour Lives regarding us combining both the Penspiration and the stationary box into one, one box, thus the intention box. So you're getting the stationary box and you're getting the Penspiration box and it's now one. However, we have condensed the quantity of pens in favor of focus focusing on the kind of brands and the quality of pens. So you may get two to three pens as opposed to five or six because we want to make sure that you're getting newer, um, more brand name pens in the box in conjunction with your planner items that you receive. So you're not going to get your full five to six pens that you have been getting before because it's now combined into one box for one price rather than you getting it as like an add-on and um at the five to six units that you were getting previously. Any questions regarding the new intention box and the change from stationary plus penspiration? Because the plus penspiration is no longer an option. Thank you, Farah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Was the April box not a great first intention box? And we just had a meeting today as a team on May and June, and the heat is not stopping. So very excited. We did show last week a sneak peek for the May box, which is the acrylic ruler. I don't know if we have that in the building today. If not, you'll see it on, um, do we have it? We might have it. Yay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So for the May box, we have this beautiful prism acrylic ruler that will be featured in your May box. This matches perfectly with your acrylic cal calendar that you received in the April box. And so this is your first May sneak peek. It's gorgeous. Ariel has taken some gorgeous photos. Nate, show me the gorgeous photo. He was very excited. <laughs> very excited. You know, he's, he's cool and he tries to lay it low, but he was very, very, very excited. Um, someone said, honey, that April box is fire. I agree. I'm very happy with the April box. Someone said they got theirs today and they love everything. Aisha said she loves everything. Everyone's loving it. Love it. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we are not stopping. It's continuing to heat up. May, we have some super exciting. We have a very exciting dashboard. I've never seen anything like it ever, 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 ever. It has taken months for us to kind of um, troubleshoot and how to bring this product to you for the May box. So it's going to be very exciting. Um, the dashboard that you'll see in the May box. And then June is we're, we're, it's bananas. It's very bananas. And we're giving you a, um, how do how do we describe it without saying too much? On the notebook situation. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all like we saw it today and we were all just like, we don't really need to put anything else in the box because this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. So June is coming in high. You know, that's our anniversary month. May is my birthday month. So you know we go crazy there. And so it's just a lot of goodness coming your way. Very excited about it. And we have some really cool launches. And we'll be sharing some sneak peeks of our future launches at our booth at Go Wild. So if you have been waiting for more vegan options to come your way, you can see a sneak peek of a vegan option that we're going to be releasing in June at our booth at Go Wild. And then also we'll show a sneak peek of it at our estate event too in May. So if you're attending the estate event in May, I'll make sure to make sure that you guys have the same sneak peek. But um, we'll also be showing it in person at Go Wild at our booth. So make sure to visit us. Make sure to say hey to the team because we'll be sharing some in close, up close and personal 
um, examples of the the new the newness that's coming your way. Someone said I received the April boxes an early Mother's Day gift for my daughter. Oh, that's awesome! What a what a sweet daughter. I think the the Estique box makes a great gift as well. Um, so if you want to get the April Estique box and hold it until May, till Mother's Day, that's a great way to get a Mother's Day gift out of the way. If you get it today, you'll also be able to get the travel candle for yourself, the little gift for your mom or whoever is your mo the mother figure in your life, and then a gift for yourself um, would be perfect. So Awesome. Anything else? What else, Katie? What do we else, what else do we have? Like we have I really see more, May. more May. I don't know. Should we show the um well Aisha? What did Aisha say? What's Aisha say? We need more acrylic items. Wink wink. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. Are the inserts in there? Let's do the inserts one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the theme for the May box is graph note taking because it is my birthday month. I am I'm honing in on my love of graph. I love all things graph, and so everything is focused focused on graph note taking for the month of May. So with that being said, I'm gonna just show you the HP Classic size just so that you got you guys can all see what's going on here. But we have four undated daily formats that will be going in your May sub box. Okay, so we have this first undated daily layout here. That's pretty open, pretty fluid. Give you space for events, times, tasks, notes, etc. So this one's pretty fluid here. Then it gets a little bit more detailed as you go into the options here. So we have one that has timed sections of it. So it runs from 5 a.m to 12 a.m. Same thing, putting events, notes, tasks down here. You can highlight the date and day of the week at the top. Again, you will get all of these inserts in your May box along with the acrylic ruler that I just sneak peek. Um, this one, which is my, might be my favorite one because I like that you can split the day between a.m. and p.m. And the slot runs from 1 to 12. So essentially you can capture, no matter what time of day your schedule starts, you can capture it on this insert, um, either on the AM or the PM side. Again, more open space here at the bottom for you to put tasks, notes, ideas, drawings, whatever you want to put. And then the last layout is, we threw a little bit of line in there for those that are over my graph situation. Um, we do have a line section here at this one. Um, just these are very open because they are, are undated. Just gives me an idea. Um, so excuse me, an opportunity to experiment with some undated formats. I also mentioned in our last live that I love using these as an extension to a day. If I have my week, because I use a weekly spread. If a day gets super busy, I like putting these inside of my planner and um, kind of expanding upon a busy day on an undated sheet rather than kind of having to swap data inserts or something like that. Because sometimes I'll have a really busy day. Sometimes I'll have a slow day. And this just gives me the flexibility to still use my weekly inserts while accommodating a busier day with an undated insert. So if you want to look and see how I did that, um, you can look on last week's live. But yeah, you'll get all four of these inserts in the May box again in addition to this ruler. We'll continue to show you sneak peeks over, over the next couple weeks. Maybe I'll bring a sneak peek with us to go wild uh, next week to show in our booth. Or maybe I'll just bring the acrylic ruler so you guys can see that in person. But um, definitely come and hang out with us at our booth at Go Wild if you are attending. Yes, please say hello at our booth. I, we would greatly appreciate it. Aisha says, will the exclude will these be exclusive to the box or eventually be added to the general website. Um, so you will, so the box will have all of these options. You'll get all of these as samples in the sub box. However, post sub box, you will be able to get the entire set of each style and in individually. So while in the sub box, you're getting these all together, grouped together, post sub box, you'll be able to get these individually and our regular sets of 15 sheets like normally. So you'll be able to get all of these. How did I perfectly separate those mm -hmm. without counting? 
Um, so post sub actually be able to get this individually, this individually, this individually, and this individually. So, but the perk of sub is that you get to test them all for the same price rather than having to purchase each of them individually. It's similar to what we did uh, last year when we were teasing. The yes, yearly layout. absolutely. Awesome. Any any questions I'm missing, Ryan? Anything I'm missing? <laughs> so the Basilica candle, the notes are vanilla, warm spices, and oak. Um, this again is inspired from a trip that we took to Italy. This was 20, was it 2018? When did we go to Italy, babe? 2016. 2016. Um, so <clears throat> if you've ever been to Italy, you know a big part of the landmarks there are the basilicas or the churches there. And this candle kind of reminded me of our experiences traveling and touring a lot of those basilicas. So when you smell this, you'll just you'll just get a lot of that woodiness that you experience when you're inside of those churches. So love this. this is a very warm and cozy scent. Casey, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Katie. Um, so proper trim wicking. Yes, that's yes. So before you light the wick each time, make sure to trim it down um, so that it's melting evenly. I don't have a wick trimmer with me, but I do have a hack for that though. Like yes. So you should until there's like evenly thing. melted yes. yes but if you don't do that you can take tin foil and like get a tunnel yes that is true so the rule of thumb is that when you're lighting a candle you want to at least burn it for as long as it takes for it to evenly melt an even layer across the top just so that it's melting and burning evenly let's say you had to leave the house in an emergency and you couldn't wait that long, what you can do is put a piece of foil on top of the burning wick so that it creates a tunnel and it creates that even layer so that you're not getting that hole in the center. For example, because we do this for content, we're not always burning it properly. You'll see how you'll kind of get this divot in the center like this. That's just, that's just because we're not letting it burn the full duration that it needs to in order to evenly do it. But with this one, you see that we, we did and there's no divot in the center and it's burned evenly. So the proper wick trimming and burning of the candle allows you to really maximize the burn time of the candle, which is typically for the larger one, it can range anywhere from 60 to 80 hours with proper burning. With the smaller one, it's about 10 hours with proper tri trimming. So make sure that you're doing that to get proper use of your candle um, so that you're using it for as long as possible. But I love that these have a wooden wick because you get that fireside crackle when it's burning. And it's just, it's just vibes. And gorgeous. Yes. And the scent throw is very good. It's, it's not overpowering, but it's enough to really kind of fill up the area that you have the candle in. Um, it's just beautiful. It's all natural, all vegan candle wax. It's a coconut blend that's completely vegan. Um, but yeah, so you'll get, again, the Sevilla scent or Seville, if you want to say, in your April Estee box in our new packaging here. And then today's gift for purchase of $150 or more will get you the travel size Basilica candle in our little baby box. They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. And such a nice, substantial gift to give someone. Someone said, it smells like coming home, a glass of wine, a good book. Oh, I love that. Nikki, I need Nikki here every week. She always comes with the heat. I uh, know she is, you're usually here, but I need you to keep coming. Keep coming. She just brings the heat every week and I love it. Thank you so much. That is exactly, that's a great description. It's just very warm. It's very cozy. It's very welcoming. It's very, it's just a good scent. It's not offensive. No, because Like, you know how some scents can just give you a headache over time? It's just so good. Who has Basilica? Who 
Creek. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I didn't remember okay. yet. <laughs> who got the very who got the estate box when these first launched? I was I think that was October 22. That the Basilica fragrance launch. You guys is such a good scent. This is now my our signature home scent at our house. I'm always burning it when guests come, they always want to know what it is. Um, but yeah, it's such a beautiful scent. Uh, what else? What else do we have? I think that's I think that's everything. That's all the sneak peeks that we want to show this week. Um, but you guys know at that time when we have Ryan's words of wisdom, <laughs> he's gonna leave us with his uh his encouraging words, his, his words of inspiration here. What do you have for us? Ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Okay. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning. Nobody can go back. Oh, you had it ahead of time? How did you get it ahead of time? Oh, I just typed it. <laughs> right. Uh, Katie has the inside scoop. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. I like that. That's a good one. Let's get the snaps in the cons. Thank you. <laughs> Party did the snap. Sherry's got the snaps. So good. Nikki has the snaps. <laughs> awesome. We appreciate you all being here for another Thursday. I'm super excited for next week. It's going to be so much fun with Aisha. You guys know this is kind of our thing now where we hit the road with Happy Hour Live and it's it's with Aisha. So it should be lots of fun. It's going to be a little bit after hours, some cocktails in hand. Um, so I can't wait to see a lot of you at Go Wild and can't wait for you guys to see our live at Go Wild. Please come to our booth, meet our team, and see some of our new vegan items that we're releasing soon in person at our booth. But yeah. Oh gosh, Ryan has something to say. <laughs> we're sneaking a ton. We just we've snuck a lot. You want to sneak? Oh, wait, 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 no, let's, the Thank you, Katie. We can show like a okay. corner of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if people figure it out. There's, there's no way. Ryan has halted everything. A last minute. You were about to log off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we just had our product planning meeting today, which we showed the team, the product team showed everybody else like what we're doing for our June sub box. So he's very pumped for what we sneaked in the June sub box. I can't give too much, Katie. We're going to have to really. I, I put oh, thank you. Camera, thank so you. Thank you. I have to be very. <laughs> thank you. We're going to have to. Wait, we should not. Tina said go, Ryan. <laughs> Tina, don't encourage him. And so did Lakia. Okay. We can't. We can't go in all the way. Okay. But. Shout out to Nate. This is Nate's pride and joy. He killed that. <laughs> it's it was an all around team effort, but Nate really executed this for us, and it's it's gonna be spectacular. And another reason why you just know that Colin Bay, we're just not gonna leave you in the dust. We we got you, and these products are coming in hot. Where where do I stop? Oh. oh. enough though i think that's so enough that's i might open it and show that same corner in a second all right so here's the first lisa said go ryan <laughs> all right so we got that <laughs> and then i do want to show this because i'm very proud of this little detail because you know we're all about the details here <laughs> so that is june that's all you get though <laughs> that's june and that's all we can say well let me do a little i know it's safe to put them hold on i know no main camera camera they can't see me right over there <laughs> okay i'm like Dre, look at Dre. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. One more time. One more time. <laughs> so 
So you guys know May is the birthday box. June is our anniversary box. And just a little insight into June, we're all about showing the nine years of progression and innovation that we've done kind of building and focusing on this brand over the past nine years. So you're going to see a lot of things that maybe you've seen before and we've put our spin on it and how we would kind of design those in today's in today's scope of design. So super exciting. I can't wait. And it's kind of mega. June is, is kind of mega where we kind of went over the top where this item that I'm showing you is comes fully assembled and is only one of the items in the box. The box is actually bananas. It's actually wild. I can't believe that that's like just one. Thing. That's just that one. Box. This is one item where also the bag in June too could just be. Yeah. Between the two, like we could really wrap, wrap the June up. But of course, we can't stop there. This one wants to give Ryan a raise. You guys, he's making it harder for all of us, though. <laughs> it's about even. It's even, guys. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Katie's on my side now, guys. <laughs> and it's only April. I know. It's only April. Okay. Let me okay. I'm gonna show one booklet. I know, I know what's happening to me. <laughs> what's happening? Now it's too much, right? Ryan says, You guys, Ryan's turning on you guys. I'm trying to show you a booklet, and he said, Now I'm showing too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm supporting it. Okay, so while we're just on the We've been talking about Dot Grid. This is one of the items in the June box. Look at that. Look, can you see this? Hello? Do you see this detail here? Do you see this detail? Do you see this detail? Do you guys see this? Aisha, you, you hear me, right? You hear me, right? <laughs> you guys see this? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We know that you guys could spend your money anywhere in the world. And you guys choose to spend with us. And for that, we want to make sure that we're bringing you the very best boxes possible. When I tell you that we are not playing with these boxes, Please believe me, we are not playing with these boxes. So just know, just know it's about to be crazy. Just know. <laughs> Stitching. Yeah, okay. Let me let me show you one. Now I'm no, now I'm gonna roll. I've been cut off, guys. <laughs> I've been cut off. <laughs> we'll circle back to that in like a month. We'll circle back, but you saw it. There you go. Yeah. So just know that you need to be here for the lives leading up into this to this launch because we're gonna show it here first. I don't think we're gonna start showing these in content for a little while, oh, right? Cool. Yeah, we got a while. So someone said, "I'm so happy. I have six months." Someone said, <laughs> someone said you have us in a chokehold. Yes, the stitching, the details, you guys, it's it's a beautiful box. Can't wait for you guys to get them. But yeah, for real this time, I think we're done. We can't show any more sneak peeks. We're maxed out. But again, come to us at Go Wild. We have some more sneak peeks that haven't hit the interwebs yet that you'll see in person at Go Wild. Um, yeah, we'll have the team there. We'll be filming some content. So we may, the team may want to get you in some of our content and chit chat with you and things like that. So we can't wait to see you at Go Wild. Um, so yeah, can't say same time, same place, because no. it'll be different next week. So but we'll know soon. But we'll know soon and we'll let you know. But it is different time, different place. I'm aware. Yeah, it's a different time, different place. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll let you know next week as soon as we know. So see you from Dallas next week, guys, with Aisha. Ooh. See you guys soon.